name's Jessica. I'm the owner of Visible Changes. I've worked here for about 12 or 13 years, and then in the last five years, it became my son. I chose to have an apprentice. I was uh, really struggling with staff. Um, had a lot of people moving around, swapping and changing, um, and they were all a lot mature hairdressers. So it was just so, so nice to sort of have one from scratch, and you could just grow them yourself, and watch them develop in the way that you want them to develop. It's really nice to work with someone who's still learning, because I would have done my training a long time ago, and this, with it sort of a very fashion forward industry, so many things change, and there's so many things that come out that we just did not do at college. So it's so nice to sort of learn from somebody younger. My name's Leila, and I started my apprenticeship at Heart of England, and then came to work here, and I've done two years now. I chose to do my apprenticeship because I really liked speaking to people, and I had interest in hair, but I wanted to be on the job rather than just at a college um, or to experience as I want just to make sure I liked it and um, I wouldn't feel so nervous coming into it after my, after doing my qualification. Um, so Leila's been here for about two years and so that's how long I've been working with Heart of England for. They've been really good. But I've worked with other colleges in the past and I find with Heart of England. The communication side's really clear so if there's ever any problems or issues they're picked up with, you can you, dealt with by the end of the week, you're not sort of thinking, oh, I'm not going to see the tutor for sort of three months, you can sort of ring an email, they'll you message back by the afternoon and everything's just sorted. Um, and they're really up to date with where, they're really, they're really aware of where their students are. And the girls always say really nice things about the tutors while they're there, so you know that the day that they do go to college they're all being looked after, and yeah, not everyone's taken care of. Throughout my apprenticeship, I attended the Rugby Centre through Heart of England training and one day a week to have a push through my apprenticeship and attended theory lessons and demonstrations. Throughout my apprenticeship at Heart of England training, I found staff really supportive, especially Nicole and so Layla's now finished a level two and we're thinking about putting her on a level three and then sort of simultaneously to that because you don't have to wait for September because they're doing it as an apprenticeship you can sort of have them coming and going as you please if you like so we've now got Ruby she's a good chunk into a level two and so she'll just be sort of finishing and then Layla will be finishing so you can make it really overlap and work around your business when you need staff. Uh, I was really happy when I passed my EPA um, when I found out I was really proud of myself and just felt accomplished that I like, finally finished it. Uh, now that I've completed my level two, my next step is to move on to my level three to build up my confidence and just uh, make myself feel more reassured in the salon. My one piece of advice for anyone starting an apprenticeship would be to make sure the salon you're in you feel comfortable in, you get along with all the girls because it's a big step it's a big chapter and step in your learning sort of environment, so it's important for you to feel confident and comfortable. I recommend an apprenticeship to someone that wants to jump straight into the workplace and doesn't feel like going to college all the time and being in quite a regimented environment is for them.